Hey guys, I'm Coach Michael Burt. Welcome to another edition of Super Coach. Coming to you live from the Greatness Factory. You can always download this on iTunes, Stitcher, Podcast Republic, Google Play. And today, do I have a good subject for you. If you ever are going to do something big in the world, there's going to be opposition, there's going to be resistance, there's going to be people that try to stop you, hold you back, talk about you, be negative about you. And what I got to do is I got to get you in a mindset of never allowing another person to pull you into a negative cycle, a negative narrative, a neg negative point of view, a negative mindset. I got I to gotta show you four or five big strategies today that I use not to allow another person, another group, an adversity to pull me into a negative cycle. You're watching Super Coach live from the Greatness Factory, and I'm Coach Michael Burt. This is going to be a good one. Everybody needs a coach in life. Coaching businesses and entrepreneurs like you to spike an additional 40% to your bottom line. Michael Burt is a multi-championship coach, best-selling author, trainer, motivator, and all-around super coach. Now, now, from the Greatness Factory Studios, this is Super Coach. Hey guys, welcome back, Super Coach. Live from the Greatness Factory. Just got back from Seaside, Florida with Tom Love. Man, what a great retreat, Tom Love. Great weekend. We broke down the explanation of services. And if I had to go back and call it something, I think I would call it a weekend of clarity. Because when you go down to Seaside, Florida, you spend time with 12 to 15 people, all thinking at very high levels, you come back with clarity. What do you believe? Why do you believe it? What do you do? How do you do it different? Well, one of the things I believe is never allowing another person to stand between me and my destiny. Don't ever forget this. One of my core principles in my life, Dean Smithia, Ken, Abe, Julie Arnold, Anita Hill, Tommy Santel, Dario, Phil Leverett, one of my key principles is never let another person stand between you and your destiny. And what we're talking about today is when we allow another person to pull us into a negative cycle in our lives. And it is so easy. See, my philosophy is simple. Your goals and dreams are not big enough. They're not big enough unless there's most likely somebody trying to keep you from getting them or take them away from you. You see, people out in the world don't focus on people producing at very minimum levels. They don't focus on people in the middle. They only focus on people at the top because people at the top are moving and shaking. So as you go out into the universe and you begin to push hard, you're going to meet objection. Objection is opposition of thought. Well, what's going to happen when you meet objection is you're going to get emotional. You're going to get emotional. And emotion can be a good emotion and emotion can be a bad emotion. The good emotion of emotion is passion. The good emotion of, of emotion is drive. The good, the good part of emotion is fuel. The good part of, of having this in our DNA is good, but, but what happens when we use emotion in the wrong way? You see, emotions, if you read my article, my blog this weekend, emotions has led me wrong nine out of ten times. My emotions, getting angry, getting upset, getting vindictive, getting vengeful, getting frustrated. You see, when I start getting into that emotion, and it's hardwired into us, it is deeply hardwired into us when we feel wronged, when we feel um, threatened, when we feel like another person has not got our back, when we feel like a person is not loyal, it is a natural human emotion. Just look at what it does to the body. The number one, the number one problem for most people is heart disease. Heart disease a lot of times is created by stress. Stress creates a lot of the frustration we have in our world. So what I wrote in that article is emotion will lead you wrong nine out of ten times. They cause us to take actions we normally wouldn't take, to say things we normally wouldn't say, involve ourselves in low-level activity that steal away our time. And remember this, that's really what happens when we, when we let emotion get the best of us is because we really get pulled into it. And one of my, one of my favorite sayings that Don Meyer always taught is never wrestle with the pig, you both get muddy and the pig loves it. So you have to understand, Viktor Frankl said this, between stimulus, that's what happens to you, and your response to what happens to you is a space, and in that space lies your ability to choose your response. Between what happens to you in the world and your response to what happens to you is a space, and in that space lies your response. Now, from the dictionary, 
The emotion of anger is this. When we get angry, the heart rate, arterial tension, testosterone production increases. Cortisol, which is a stress hormone, decreases. And the left hemisphere of the brain becomes more stimulated. Very few positive things come when you get so emotional that you get angry. And it happens every single day. So what I do is I put these into buckets. High value, low value. Low value of my time, getting myself involved in drama. Drama is low, wasted, negative energy. It typically starts, and I want you to get this, it starts with a disappointment. And the disappointment, which is when one person does not meet the expectation of another person. I actually did a show on this, right, Jack? On five steps to overcome disappointment. Because you're going to be disappointed in a day. People you thought were going to be there for you are going to let you down. People you thought were loyal to you are going to bail out. People you thought had you back are going to let go. I mean, it, it could be your own family members. It could be the person you're married to. It could be the people you work with every day. You're going to be disappointed. So where does disappointment come from? Is when one person does not meet the expectation of another person. Many times, this is because the relationship is not started off correctly, okay? Or calibrated with clear expectation, accountability, and clear consequences, okay? Clear expectation, accountability, and clear consequence. The outcome typically is hurt feelings. And hurt feelings is where emotion comes from. So today if you're watching the show guys, if you're out there watching the show, I can say these things because I've experienced all of these things. I've experienced hurt, I've experienced disappointment, I've experienced broken heart, I've experienced me losing my temper, I've experienced getting emotional, I've experienced being drugged into mud fights, I've experienced it all. And I would tell you I'm never at my best when I'm operating from a low place of emotion, from a negative place of emotion. Emotion should be the fuel that drives you. It shouldn't be where you get caught up. Why? We take things personal. We take things personal. And when someone, we feel like a person is attacking us, we want to attack back. That is our nature. So when we come back in the second segment, we're going to unpack this concept of how never to allow another person to pull you into a negative cycle. Listen, we talk to people all day long. Some of them are negative. A lot of people operate in such a low frequency. They got no enthusiasm. They got no energy. They got no pop for life. You know why? They got nothing in life to be excited about. It is so easy to be sucked in to a negative cycle by another person. And I hope this course today teaches you two things. One, you don't want to be that person that is sucking other people into a negative cycle. Number two, don't allow other people to, to suck you into that negative cycle. So when we come back in segment two, I'm going to show you the five strategies that I try to use not to be sucked into a negative cycle by another person. I'm Coach Michael Burt. You're watching Super Coach. Hey guys, imagine a network of over 500 like minded fanatics, 500 obsessed people who want to dominate their markets, 500 people that are interested in the whole person, the body, the mind, the heart, and the spirit, 500 people who want to get better who are exchanging energy with each other. You see, Monster Producer has taken on a life of its own. We are selling now and, and doing business with people internationally all over planet Earth. And the network is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. There's three levels for you to join Monster Producer. We got the 25K level, which includes live sessions, special events, private retreats, access to me. We got the mega monster level, six events per year with some of my biggest players, six live sessions that you can get involved in. And then we got monster producer, four full day summits a year with me and access every month to the live streaming of monster producer. Listen, I want you in the network. I want you in the coaching. I want to keep you in a dynamic state and I want to shoot to get you a 43% increase. Go to monsterproducer.com. Come see me live when I'm coming to any city near you. And get online and watch it because this thing is going nationwide. I'm Coach Michael Burt, the Super Coach. Get in Monster Producer today. Hey guys, Coach Burt, welcome back to Super Coach. This show is proudly sponsored by Hotsey Health and Wellness out in Houston, Texas. Just last week, I went through the uh, went through the executive level. Executive level exam, I guess is what you would call it. Heart scans, bone density, carotid arteries, got me on the right plan. 
They told me if you think you're dangerous now, coach, you're really going to be dangerous when you get all of your energy levels where they need to be, your testosterone where it needs to be. Okay, everything, your thyroid's kicking on every cylinder that it needs to kick on like it's supposed to, just like God made it to click on. So thank you, Holtzy Health and Wellness, Dr. Stephen Holtzy. is actually coming to Middle Tennessee to speak to my monster producers. Uh, in June, I like to cross-pollinate, and we're going to Houston every month to teach Monster Houston. So Holtzy Health and Wellness, if you're serious about getting to you, finding your superhuman strength, playing at a much higher level, give it your frequency and your energy up, you got to go out there, and you got to see Dr. Holtzy, who will... Who, it's, who, it, who in his late 60s has got more energy than most 20-year-olds? So today we're talking one thing. Dave Steg, what's up? Dave Steg's a 25K member. Proud of him, man. Kelly Rollins, Christy Nicole, Lily Munoz, Anita Hill, Chris Burleson. Today we're talking how never to let another person pull you into a negative cycle. Now I want you to think about this concept of drama, low-wasted negative energy. Typically happens because of disappointment. Disappointment is when one person does not meet the expectation of another person. People's feelings get hurt. When people's feelings get hurt, they feel like they're getting attacked personally. When they feel like they're getting attacked personally, instead of, instead of listening and being open to feedback, they get defensive. When they get defensive, then it becomes this negative cycle. Then they don't want to be around each other. I got to toughen people up, man. I got to toughen people up. I had a great conversation with Chris Robinette at the retreat for two and a half hours, man. He was intense. Most people will have fell apart in that conversation. He, he was critical, but he had great points. Most people would have got so defensive during that conversation that they would not have been able to have a fruitful conversation because their emotions would have got the best of them. Not me. I sat there and I listened. I took notes. We got better. So, man, you got some great points there. I learned some key things from you tonight. I appreciate your feedback. Most people cannot handle constructive feedback. Why? They get defensive. Then they get pulled into a negative cycle. Then they think it's personal. Then when it gets personal, it gets emotional. Then when it gets emotional, guess what? Nine out of ten times, your emotions lead you wrong. You say things you don't mean. You do things you don't mean. Why? You're trying to defend. Be open to anything, closed off to nothing. Now, I define drama as low-wasted negative energy. I told you it starts with disappointment, but here's what drama does, Clint Trinity. It diverts you away from your dominant focus. You see, your dominant focus is a single, tangible outcome you would like to drive in a 12-month cycle as measured in 30-day windows, okay? We all get 168 hours in a week, 86,600 seconds in a day, uh, 84,600 seconds, something like that in a day. 24 hours in a day, you only got so much time. You got to keep the main thing, the main thing. And the main thing for some people is spending it in low value activity, wasted conversation, goofing off on Facebook, getting involved in other people's drama, reliving drama, getting jacked up about drama. It's a negative cycle that's perpetuated, guys. One thing it does is it's precious time diverted away from the dominant focus. Okay? We call it majoring in the minors. Majoring in the minors is where you spend your time and energy in little low-value activity that's got nothing to do with the dominant focus. Does it sound like what drama is? Because it sounds like what drama is to me, right? What, what's the topic today? How never to allow another person to pull you into, okay, to pull you into a negative cycle. Never wrestle with the pig. You both get muddy and the pig loves it. Isn't that a great book title? That's a great book title, man. So let me give you my five ways, Mark Allen. Let me give you my five ways that I don't allow other people or I attempt not to let other people. Now listen, I'm as guilty as everybody else. I can go negative just like everybody else. Most people think I'm a positive person. I am a positive person on most things, but I can be negative. I can be hardcore. I can be difficult. I can be high expectation when things don't get done, when we don't hit our goals, when we don't push the ball down the field, when I think people are lollygagging or goofing off or watching Facebook when they should be working. I, I, don't, I, I can be difficult because I'm very clear about my about my, where I'm trying to go. Where I'm trying to go is I'm trying to, to go out and impact millions of people. Not 30 people, not 40 people. I don't want to be famous in my hometown of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, or my hometown of Woodbury. I want to go out and help millions of people on the planet, which means I ain't got time for shenanigans during the day, okay? So for you, what I want you to do is I can't, but so if you have that tendency to be hardcore, you're type A, you're firstborn, you're Leo, you're high D, you push hard and you can go negative. So how do you not allow another person to pull you into a negative cycle? Number one, this is especially if you're entering into partnership with other people. Number one, do your due diligence. Here's what I mean. Spend time studying the past results. One of my favorite 
uh, one of my favorite parables in the Bible is the parable of the talents. And one of the interpretations of the parable of the talents is a person showed a demonstrated capacity to take the talents that God had given them and use them, work them, uh, uh, take advantage of them. And because of that, they were given more. Just look at what happened to the cat who didn't use his talents. That's a bad scene, man. It didn't just say, didn't, it didn't just say in the Bible that they took them away. It said it take them, took them away and, and, and sent them to a place where there's gnashing of teeth. It don't sound like it just took them away. It sounded like, hey, this is, this is a big deal, you're not using your talents. So here's the deal. When a person shows a demonstrated capacity in an area, that means there is proof. There is stone cold evidence that they have achieved some level of success. So if you're going to enter into a business partnership with somebody else, and I used to not do this, it's a big mistake. If you're going to enter into business partnership with somebody else, you need to do your due diligence which is where you look at their past results and you say, has this cat actually done what they're, they're supposedly helping me do? It's like a financial advisor that don't have any money. They're telling you to invest their money, but they ain't accumulated any money. Okay? It's like, it's like an out-of-shape doctor that you're going to. You're getting advice from an out-of-shape doctor that smokes. Okay? Would you, get, would you go to a doctor? You, you look, look, at the, look at the results of the past people to see if they did it. Have they shown a demonstrated capacity? Tyler Burnett, have they shown a demonstrated capacity to elevate a person to do this? So you got to do your homework. I have gotten myself into more trouble on this one of hiring people that I like, of, of, of engaging or partnering with people that I like, only to find out they don't have a demonstrated capacity to do what I'm hiring them to do. So if you're going to engage in partnership, then number one, to not allow another person to go negative because there's, un, there's uneven expectation here. You're expecting a person to do whatever that is, a financial advisor to invest your money properly, your insurance person to handle your insurance needs, your mortgage person to do this. What kind of capacity have they shown? Okay, that's number one. Number two, en engage in more than one meeting to determine if you line up on your core values. What you believe, demonstrate a capacity. Be clear so there's no confusion. I'm guilty of this one. I assume a lot, okay? I, I assume a lot. I assume that people know. I assume too many things. And this is a mistake because when I assume, it makes an ass out of me, it makes an ass out of you and me. So that's the old saying about assuming is sometimes we assume things and that's a problem for us, which puts us into a negative cycle, okay? Be clear so there's no confusion. Be clear about the outcomes you want. Ascertain if you believe the person you're partner with can drive these outcomes and if they believe the same things you do. You don't have to line up on everything. You may not have to line up on what, who you vote for. You may not like to line up on where you go to church, but you need to line up on core philosophies, okay? Number three, and then I'm gonna take a break. Phil Griffin, number three, discussing great length, expectations, timelines, consequences, accountability, and priorities. We throw so many things at people that it gets confusing on what priorities are, okay? When you're partnering with another person, you should sit down and say this, discuss in great length the expectation, the timelines, the consequences, the accountability, and the priority, okay? And there should be consequences. Where there's no consequence, there is no change of behavior. Adults need consequences just like kids do. So when you're thinking about not allowing another person to pull you into another cycle, some of these are some of the mistakes that I've personally made. Okay, and what I mean by that, I didn't do my due diligence going into a deal. I didn't engage in more than one meeting. Okay, we, 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 we do not hire people here in my office now without multiple meetings, being in multiple settings, having multiple talks, running through multiple filters. You know why? Because I made the mistake over and over and over again of interviewing a person one time and putting them on the team because I thought they could do it. I didn't do any of the stuff that I'm telling you to do here. Okay, which is why I wrote this up, okay? So number three is discussing great length the expectations, the timelines, and the consequences, and the accountability. This is when we should be done. This is the expectation. This is the priority. This is how it needs to work. What if we don't do it? All of these things are things because if you don't, now you've got uneven expectations. Somebody gets their feelings hurt. When somebody gets their feelings hurt, we get emotional. When we get emotional, we start getting into this negative cycle. And based on your personality type, some people go more negative than others. Some people just get negative, they can go from zero to 60 in a matter of seconds. 
It has a lot to do with their personality style. They don't have a regulator. They don't have a governor. They don't have something that says, I need to wind it down a few notches here, okay? A good expert will say, hey, let's wind it down a few notches. Okay, let's, let's, let's dial it down just a few notches here. It's a little too intense because we can't think clearly, okay? So we're going to take one more break and we come back from Supercoach. Okay, and that's right. Phil Groove has said, and this is for both sides of the transaction? Absolutely. It is for both sides of any transaction you engage with. What I'm talking about here, do your due diligence. Listen, you don't want to take on clients that you think are not going to be good clients for you. If you do, it's on us. When we take on people that don't believe the same things we do, you, you want to engage in more than one meeting to determine if there's a fit. You want to discuss in great length timelines, consequences, and accountability. When we come back, I'm going to go through number four and number five. Today we're having a lot of fun. This may not be a, a sexy topic for you, but this is one that they should teach in school. You know, we got young kids here at our office today. What they should be learning, hopefully they're listening to this. Here's what they should be learning, how, how not to allow another person to, to suck me into some negative cycle because I, I went down that road before and nothing ever good happened from it. You're watching Super Coach, and we come back, we're giving a big shout-out to Clay Whitaker, my dealer capital, one of the proud sponsors of the Super Coach Show. Live from the Greatness Factory, I got two more big points, so don't go anywhere. Hey, are you ready to make more money? MyDealerCapital.com is hiring sales professionals from the auto, banking, and finance industry. Are you tired of capped commissions? Are you making six figures? Then MyDealerCapital.com is the answer. If you're looking for a better opportunity, we have positions available nationwide. If you're interested in working for one of the fastest growing automotive capital companies in the country, then go to MyDealerCapital.com and contact us at sales at MyDealerCapital.com. Your future awaits, and it's much brighter with MyDealerCapital.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Supercoach. Live from the Greatness Factor, what's up Phil? Phil Leverett, everything you should be taught in school. We were just having that discussion on the break, Phil. You're exactly right. Listen, nobody talked to me as a kid. Clay Whitaker can, can appreciate this from My Dealer Capital. Clay's one of the proud sponsors of the show. Hope to see you at the Founders Retreat, Clay Whitaker. We'd love to have you down there. It's going to be a lot of entertainment down there. Not edutainment, Bradley says. It's entertainment. It's part entertainment, part education, right? So, so uh, My Dealer Capital, Clay Whitaker, proud sponsor of today's show, doing big, big things out in the world. If you're looking for a place to work, if you're looking for a guy to partner with, He's partnered with many of the monster producers. Go to MyDealerCapital.com. Check out my man Clay and hopefully see him down in Seaside to spend time with him and his beautiful wife, Angel. You know, Natalie loves you. What's up, Becky McGill? Phil Leverett is bringing, is bringing some high energy to a low-voltage industry. And here's the thing I wish I would have learned. wish somebody would have taught me this stuff. I can't tell you when I, from 20 to 30 years old how many negative arguments I involve myself with how much negativity I got involved with, how I allow people to suck me into a never-ending cycle that nobody won. It's a classic lose-lose. They lost, I lost, we all lost, okay? Because nobody ever set me down and said, look, here's how you never allow another person to suck you into this. Here's what it does. It places you into a negative state and you're spending precious time and energy resource away from where you should be going because you're focused on something that already happened. That's the deal, man. All this stuff happens in the past. Somebody last week said this about you. Somebody last week did this to you. Listen, if you're going to do big things, they're going to line up, right? Look, look at the last three presidents of the United States, 51, 49. Half the population didn't like them, and they still won president. So, so for you, you got to make up your mind. You're going to do big things in the world. There's going to be opposition to it. Here's five ways that I use not to, get my, not, not to try to get myself into a negative pattern. Here's number four. Set a rhythmic pattern of communication. And I think this is a very important one. I know it's hard when you begin to communicate with so many people. You know, we're actively coaching 600 people out there in the world. That's why we try to do a rhythm. I need to see your face every month. I need you to get in the Facebook group. I need you to do this. Try to set a rhythmic pattern of communication because what you're doing with is you're communicating progress. And one way to avoid a negative cycle is to constantly communicate progress. Progress is a natural 
motivator for people. We need to know things are happening. We need to know the ball's moving down the field. We need to know good things are happening. We don't like it when it gets stagnant. So number four is set a rhythmic pattern of communication. And number five, which may be the most important one, don't get personal. Focus any frustration you have on the gap between what was promised and what was delivered. Focus any frustration you have on the gap between what was promised and what was delivered. Go back to the original agreement. Don't allow emotion to cloud your thought process. Okay, if you have to use a third party to mediate so the emotion's down, where well, we bring it down some, then you need to use a third party, to, a, a person who's objective. They're not taking one side over another. So for many times, the other person or the other party that's negative, I, I talk to people every day that have no idea that they're negative. Okay? They, they, they just don't know. They don't, they, don't, they don't have an awareness that they can be negative about things, okay? And so for you, when you're trying to figure this out, as I've seen many frustrations or confusion from people, I always come back to the same thing. A lack of clarity in the beginning typically leads to this problem on the back end. So if there's a big piece of advice you take away from day about how to never allow another person, remember these things. Never wrestle with the pig. You both get muddy and the pig loves it. Most of these are frustrations that happen because of a lack of clarity and no communication. Okay, uneven expectation. One person is not meeting that expectation. Disappointment turns to anger. Anger turns to aggression. Aggression turns to negativity. Now emotions are being used in a negative light versus a positive light. Okay, sometimes we've got to screw up in life to say we're never going to do that again. Sometimes we've got to enter into partnership with people to say we're never going to enter in partnership with people again. Sometimes we've got to be burned a few times before we wake up and go, this is a bad, I need to think through this a little bit better. I need to be more clear on the front end okay so for you here's what i would tell you you got a bright future ahead of you if you're watching this show i guarantee you you got a very bright future ahead of you if you're watching this show today you're you're, you're most likely wanting to play at the highest levels of performance and i would tell you what i learned from dr stephen covey through victor frankel victor frankel was in a nazi prison camp for a long time and they did a lot of things to him when he was in that prison camp. And one of the worst reasons that people died in the prison camps was it because they, they were lied to that they were going to get out at a certain time. And, they, and, and when they didn't get out at that time, they lost all hope. So they were told, well, after Christmas, we're going to let you out. And when it came after Christmas, they, they could fight through till after Christmas. And then when it didn't work out, they just come apart, man. And here's what he said. You can do anything you want to to me but you cannot take away my response to what you do to me. That is what he called, that's what he called the last human freedom. You cannot take away my ability to respond to how negative you are, okay? And so for you, remember, never wrestle with the pig. You both get muddy and the pig loves it, okay? That's a big takeaway. It's probably what the show should have been called today. Don't allow yourself to be drug into a negative cycle by another person and quit perpetuating a negative cycle out there in the market because nobody wins. Guys, every single week I come into your life, okay? I come into your life. Thank you, Phil Griffin, Becky McGill, Melanie Mayo, my mother, Jake Owen. Thank you for all your work on the new greatness factor. Guys, every week I come into your life and I hope to give you some real practical things. A lot of the coaching I do is not only business coaching, but life coaching. We got a big coaching program called Monster Producer. It is a positive, upbeat, program where we try to, uh, to eliminate any confusion that you've got in your life, both business and personal, both business and personal. We try to eliminate confusion so you can see a significant bump in your life, at least a 43% increase. So if you're interested in being in that program, all you got to do is email in right now, info at coachburg.com. I'd love to reserve a seat for you. This month, I'm teaching how to ask without consideration, how to have confidence and clarity when you make an ask to another person, and uh, it will be incredibly valuable. And if you want to go seaside sabbatical with me, with my wife and I, go to coachburton.com backslash retreats. Get on down to seaside. And if you're out there in a negative environment, negative work, negative future, negative friends, you need, to, you need to come to the Greatness Factory where we manufacture greatness. Every week, Super Coach Live. Go, go watch this show over and over again if you get into a negative state, guys, because hopefully... It'll help you get your positive mojo on. I'm Coach Michael Burt, and everybody needs a good coach in life. Everybody needs a coach in life. 
coaching businesses and entrepreneurs like you to spike an additional 40% to your bottom line. Hey guys, I'm Coach Michael Burt, the Super Coach. Every week I get to spend time with some of the best people in the world. They've got incredible knowledge, they've got incredible skill, they've got incredible desire and confidence and likability. They are people of interest. Several years ago, I wrote a book called Person of Interest and it was really an aspirational concept. I wanna become a person of influence in the world, a person of interest in the world. So I begin to study people of interest. How do they think? How do they respond? How do they act? How do they form partnership? How do they bounce back from adversity? And here recently, after speaking at 10X and some of these big year conferences, I said, man, I need to revive that concept. We all should aspire to become people of interest. We all wanna know what do the top people do? How do they do it? How did they get there? How did they become famous or well-known for something? How do they impact the world? How do they come up with billion dollar ideas? So I've got a brand new podcast out called Person of Interest where I'm gonna be spending time with some of the biggest people in the world trying to figure out what is their secret sauce? How do you become a person that other people want a piece of? Other people are gravitating to, toward. Other people can't, can't wait to be a part of what it is you're doing. How do you attract versus chase? I can't wait to share this with you on my new podcast called Person of Interest. You'll be able to watch it on my YouTube channel. You'll be able to download it on Stitcher, iTunes, Podcast Republic, anywhere good podcasts are, Person of Interest. How do you become a person other people want a piece of and cannot live without? Michael Burt is a multi-championship coach, best-selling author, trainer, motivator, and all-around super coach.